Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Do you have a good day? Yeah. Good, okay. Well, I want to uh, do something before I forget. How many of you are up for suddenlies? You know, actually, this is only March, right? There's a lot of suddenlies left this year. Sam, so, so available. Um, who was here last night? Remember what I said about being qualified? Yeah. yeah, that's the biggest religious spirit in the church, by the way. It's a spirit that sits on the back of the mind, and it makes people feel they have to qualify. Not for salvation, because you know you're saved by grace through faith, but when, you, when I talk about, um, you can say it after me again, the realm of the spirit, supernatural realm, the angels, heavenly visitations, the chariots of God, and all that good stuff. It's meant to be normal, 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 part of my life. If it's not, I'm being ripped off. Yeah. So, you know, when Jesus died and rose again, I said this last night, but I, I attacked this spirit all the time because it, it's a, it steals from you. But when he died and rose again, he qualified you 100%. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm so qualified. And I'm so available. And I'm so anointed. Yeah, that's true. So, um, but you know, last night I started to talk, I'm trying to cover usually what I do in three sessions. Um, in, in just tonight, so I want to get something out of the way though, because you know, last night I talked about that qualifying spirit, it's very strong. It's on nearly everyone, actually, 95% of the church. It's very subtle. Nobody stands up here and tells people they have to qualify, but it's implied many times, is that right? Yeah. And so, when I talk, someone like me, you know, talks about the angels and the heavenly visitations and the chariots of God and all that, people tend to feel, see, it's just a feeling. That's why it's so subtle. They tend to feel that's for him and her. They're those kind of spirit people. They, they, those people have those kind of experiences. But, you know, they kind of disqualify themselves, especially if you don't have a good day. So you get a little bit of condemnation and you put yourself out right away. Do you know what I mean? Because then you don't feel qualified. Do you, really, do you understand what I'm saying tonight? You see, but this spirit, the whole intent of it is to keep you from receiving what God has given to you. You see, if the devil can stop you receiving, then you won't affect his kingdom. Will you? If he can stop you getting under the anointing, if he can stop you receiving all the things that Jesus made available, why don't you say it after me? Because I don't want you to forget the realm of the spirit, supernatural realm, the angels, heavenly visitations, the chariots of God, all that good stuff. That's supposed to be normal. It's supposed to be normal part of our lives. That's what Jesus died and rose again for. You know, it doesn't say, he didn't say, you know, I, I died and rose again, so you know, that you might have religion and more of it. <laughs> so that you might have life. And what is life? It's not it's just, I mean, it's all the things he had. Is that right? Oh, you look, let's do this. Oh, well, somebody can get Hold up your Bible. If you haven't got your Bible, put your hand on someone else's. But you've got your iPhone. See, the only reason I, I do these things is because I want you to remember. Say, devil. devil. See this? See mine! Mine, mine, mine! mine. mine. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor, say, honey. <laughs> See this? See mine! Mine, mine, mine! Because, because there's nothing in here that I can't have. The Holy Spirit came, Holy Spirit came to get it out of the book, out of the book. and into my life. Into my life. See, look, if it, if it stays in the book, all right, if it stays in the book, 
That's wonderful, interesting information, isn't it? But that's all it is if it stays in here. So really the devil doesn't care how much you know. You care less, he knows more than you actually. You know, I've had religious spirits come, coming out of people quoting scriptures at me that I had to go and look up. <laughs> because they find all these obscure scriptures. <laughs> so, the devil doesn't really care what you know. He doesn't care what you do in the sense of, um, you know, I go to a lot of places. I, I felt it a bit when I came in tonight um, because it's something else I'm going to talk about real quick. But I go to a lot of places, it feels like there's a nail in my foot. I have a CEO anointing, so I feel all kinds of funny things. But it feels like there's a nail in my foot, nail in my foot to the floor. You see, well, that's a big old religious spirit, actually. It doesn't mean you're not doing anything, you can do this. <laughs> Can't you? Do it really fast. <laughs> so you can be very busy doing good things and miss the God thing. You can be very busy working for Jesus and totally miss the anointing. How many of you done that before? I've done that before. You see, and like, excuse me, like I said last night, Jesus is not running around tonight trying to recruit workers for the kingdom. Thanks all the same. Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> He's not trying. He's not trying to recruit workers. He's looking for his sons and daughters to rise up yeah. and be who he called them to be. You see, and it's not working for him. He doesn't want you out there working for him. He wants you to yield to him. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that easier? Yeah. To yield to him so that he can flow through you. It's no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. So we're not working for him. He's working through us. Ooh, that makes it easier. A lot more restful. <laughs> Say this after me too. No striving. No trying. No working at it. Because it's him and not me. Yeah, see, like I said last night, your first calling is to enjoy God. Um... Yeah, that is your first calling. We forget that because we get so busy being good Christians. You see, and then we try and qualify ourselves. So that, that all has to go because this move of the Spirit that's coming, there's not any time for that. There's not any time for this, you know what I mean? 